Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about decorator typing in Python. Um, I did a video on decorators a very long time ago, but I will link that in the description. Uh, if you're more confused about those than about the typing, check that out. Uh, but today we're just going to be talking about the typing and giving a few short, simple examples. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so to get started, we're going to be talking about PEP 612. Uh, which introduces parameter specification variables, which are a special type of type var. And I'm going to show a few examples of these. MyPy doesn't completely support this right now, so some of this stuff might not work properly. And I'm just going to show you the very most basic examples. Uh, we might even use another type checker today to show a more full example. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'm also going to be using a new version of Python. Uh, Python 3.10, which introduced all of these. You can technically use these in older versions if you use typing extensions uh, and a new enough version of MyPy. But uh, just for simplicity's sake, we're going to be using Python 3.10 today. And let's install MyPy. And this, uh, this feature just recently landed, so you need to have a sufficiently new version of MyPy. I'm using version 9.30 here. And let's get started. Okay, so... Uh, type vars and, or specifically param specs are useful on callables in uh, Python typing. They aren't really usable anywhere else, or at least I have not found any uses elsewhere. Um, but you import them from the typing module, import param spec. We're also going to be dealing with callable, and we'll also be dealing with a normal type variable, which we will still need for the return value of our function. Um, we are also going to import func tools just so that we make a correct decorator and let's uh, let's make a decorator. All right, so I don't know. <laughs> we're we're going to make a very silly decorator. Of course, in, in reality, you would use a more reasonable uh, decorator, but our decorator is just going to be called prints high and it's just going to print high before it calls a function. Very silly example, but you'll get the idea, hopefully. Uh, and decorators take in a function, and that is a callable. Uh, callable, and callables have two parts to it. One of them is the parameters, the other is the return value, which we'll get to in a second. And since this is just going to be a simple decorator, it's going to return the same type as it gets in. And uh, we'll actually implement the decorator, and then I'll worry about the types in a second. Func tools dot wraps f def prints by inner. Just take star args, which we have to fill in, star star quarks, which we also have to fill in, and a return value, which we also have to fill in. And this is just going to hello, hello, before calling our function. And this is our, this is the basis of, of our decorator here. And the way we would use it is uh, we would decorate some function. Um, I don't know, let's do uh, hello, hello. I guess we're doing hello twice. This is going to be confusing. Uh, let's put oh, hi up here. I don't know. <laughs> and return some integers. So if we called hello with Anthony, uh, we would expect it to first do the decorator part. So it would print oh, hi, and it would print hello, hello, Anthony, and then it would return five. Um, just to show that that happens there. All right, so now let's talk about the typing here. The first parameter of callable's typing signature is the arguments. And this is where things are going to differ a little bit. We are going to define a parameter spec, ram spec. And it looks very much like the syntax for type first, which we're also going to use for the return value here. So the parameter spec takes a, um, a string name here. I believe that's all it takes. I don't think there's anything else that it can take. It's going to help us out here. Uh, looks like it also can take bound, covariant, and contravariant, I guess, for variance, but I don't think there are any actual examples or uses of those. Uh, and it might actually just inherit those from type var, so I don't think you can actually use bound, covariant, and contravariant here. So I don't think there's any special variance for type variables, or sorry, for prem specs. I could be wrong there, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, and the parameter spec can be used in case of the parameter list here. So instead of having p here, we're going to have, or instead of having dot, 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 we'll have p here. And the return value uh, we'll also use as a type variable here. 
So this is saying that we will take some callable, which has some parameter spec and some return value, and we will return a callable that has exactly the same shape. Um, now, finally, we need to take this here and annotate this, the star args and star star quarks, and this is where parameter spec kind of does magical stuff here. So for star args, it'll be p.args, and for star star quarks, it'll be p.quarks. And it's not very flexible here. Uh, this is basically the only way that you can use parameter spec. Uh, this is the only, you know, you have to have both star args and star star quarks because otherwise it's ambiguous. Uh, and you have to use p.args and p.quarks. Otherwise, again, that, that's ambiguous. So uh, this is basically the only way this works. But uh, assuming you adhere to this particular structure, uh, the type checker should be able to figure, figure everything else out for you. So let's just run this first off, Python 3.10 t.py, and you'll see that it does work. Our decorator prints before our function, and it returns the right value. And if we run mypy on this, mypy t.py, you'll see that it successfully lints this, and uh, just to show that it knows about these types, you'll type x. Uh, you'll see that it knows that this returns int, despite being wrapped in this decorator and doing all this stuff. Okay, that is the very most basic <laughs> pram spec definition. Uh, there is another thing which gets introduced in this same pep, which is concatenate. I'm typing import concatenate. And this can be used to add parameters to, I believe, only the beginning. Can concatenate do the end? Uh, that's the beginning. That is also the beginning. Yeah, it looks like it must only concatenate to the beginning of things. Otherwise, again, it would be ambiguous because you could have uh, partially named arguments or partially positional arguments. Uh, so concatenate can add arguments to the beginning of a parameter specification. And so this can be useful if, you, if your decorator needs to modify the signature of your callable. So one example for this might be a magical decorator. And I, I, <laughs> I'm going to show you an example. This is not a good idea, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't think decorators should usually mutate signatures, but, you know, you may need a case for that. Uh, and this is just going to be a bad case. <laughs> so we're going to add, we're going to make a decorator that adds a logger to a uh, callable just sort of magically. Uh, so let's do adds logger, and this is going to take a function, which is a callable. Now instead of having the pram spec here, we're going to use concatenate to add a logger to the beginning of it. Concatenate logging dot logger, and then p for our pram spec, and it's going to still return that return value. Let's put this on its own line so it's a little easier to see. And then this is going to return a new callable which doesn't have this logger in it. So you, you'll, you'll be able to call it without the logger. It'll magically inject that logger into your function and continue on as normal. So callable PR here. Functools.wraps f def uh, add logger inner. And this is going to take star args, star star quarks as before. We'll fill out the types in a second. Uh, logger equals logging dot get logger. And maybe we'll use the module of the function to grab the logger magically, and then call function with logger star args and star star quarks. And according to the pep, uh, this must only be a positional argument. You can't concatenate named arguments uh, because it introduces ambiguities or something. <laughs> uh, it introduces soundness issues, if I remember the exact wording from the pep. Uh, okay, so this is how you would write the function for this. Now we need to fill in these. These are just going to be our pram spec args and our pram spec quarks. And it's still going to return the same return value as before. And if we imagine a function that uses this, add logger, um, I don't know, do something <laughs> which takes our logger, logger, and uh, I don't know, namester and age and uh, maybe this does slogger dot warning. Uh, oh noes, I don't know. <laughs> Silly example. Uh, hello, hello name. I hear your age is age. And then maybe we call down here, uh, get rid of this. Do something with uh, Jeff who is I don't know, 22. 
And, uh, oh, uh, yeah, this is fine. Well, let's make it return an int just so that we can see. Um, just so we can see uh, that this returns the right value. So if we run this, uh, no module named logger. Oh, of course, it's logging. If we run this, you can see that uh, we do get our <laughs> warning here. It doesn't really print it that nicely. Uh, is this how you make loggers work? I actually don't use loggers all that often. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can see the, the logging output here, and the function is called correctly and returns the right value. The problem is if we run MyPy on this, MyPy doesn't yet support concatenate. It may support this by the time you watch the video, but it doesn't currently, so it gives you kind of nonsense error messages here. Uh, but fortunately, if we install Microsoft's uh, type checker, PyWrite, which I believe has fully implemented this. Oh, shut up, Uh PyWrite t.py. Uh, looks like PyWrite successfully does that. Let me make sure that it actually understands this. Reveal type x should say int. And it does indeed. Cool. So PyWrite understands this concatenate, but MyPy does not. Um, and so this is the, kind of the other form of things that was introduced in PEP 612. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's pram specs and concatenate the two new things in pep 612. Uh, this was added, I believe, in Python 3.10, and type checkers are just now starting to implement it, so it's not quite done yet. But um, hopefully, you can use this to simplify your decorators. Anyway, hopefully, you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.